Welcome to Certs Hero. In this video, we'll walk you through 20 important MCQs for the Databricks Certified Data Analyst Associate exam. We're covering all key areas from SQL and Delta Lake to dashboards, data management, and analytics applications. Each question is followed by a clear explanation, so you can understand the logic and build real exam confidence. Let's begin your preparation. Which SQL clause is used to filter rows based on a condition? A group by B. Where? C. Order by. Correct answer is B. Where? The where clause is used to filter rows before any groupings are made. It specifies which rows to include based on conditions like value comparisons or logical expressions. Let's break this down. What does the Databricks SQL limit clause do? A. Skips the first n rows. B. Limits the number of returned rows. C. Limits query time. Correct answer is B. Limits the number of returned rows. The limit clause restricts the number of rows returned by a SQL query. It is especially useful for previewing large datasets or testing queries. All right, think carefully about this. Which chart type is best for showing data trends over time? A. Pie chart. B. Line chart. C bar chart. Correct answer is B. Line chart. Line charts are ideal for showing changes and trends over a continuous interval, such as time. They make it easier to detect upward or downward patterns in the dataset. This one trips up a lot of candidates. What is the default file format used in Databricks Delta Lake? A. CSV. B. Parquet. C. JSON. Correct answer is B. Parquet. Databricks Delta Lake stores data using the Parquet format by default. Parquet is a columnar storage format optimized for performance and scalability. Something to think about. Which SQL command creates a new table? A. Insert. B. Create. C. Select. Correct answer is B. Create. The create command is used to define a new table structure in SQL. You specify the table name and its column definitions as part of the statement. Here's one you shouldn't miss. Which operation updates values in existing rows? A. Delete. B. Merge. C. Update. Correct answer is C. UPDate. The UPDate command modifies data in existing rows based on a condition. It can be combined with the WHERE clause to target specific rows only. Let's see how sharp you are. Which Databricks feature allows version data and time travel? A SQL endpoints. B Unity catalog. C Delta Lake. Correct answer is C Delta Lake. Delta Lake supports ACID transactions and provides time travel by maintaining data versions. This is useful for auditing and rollback purposes. This one's tougher than it looks. What is the role of dashboards in Databricks SQL? A. Control job clusters. B. Visualize query results. C. Debug Python code. Correct answer is B. Visualize query results. Dashboards display query results in a visual format such as charts and tables. They help stakeholders understand data insights without needing to query manually. Many people get this wrong. Which SQL function returns the number of non-null values? A sum. B count. C AVG. Correct answer is B. Count. Count counts all non-null entries in a column. It is commonly used for basic data profiling and aggregation. Ready for a challenge? Which of the following can be used to combine rows from two tables based on a matching column? A. Join. B. Union. C. Intersect. Correct answer is A. Join. Join allows combining related rows from two or more tables using a common column. It is foundational to relational databases and multi-table queries. Let's break this down. What is the key benefit of using Delta Lake in Databricks? A. Faster UI rendering. 
B. Notebook integration. C. Acid transaction support. Correct answer is C. ACID transaction support. Delta Lake ensures data reliability by supporting ACID compliant operations. This prevents issues like partial writes and improves consistency in big data pipelines. Something to think about. Which type of join includes all records from the left table and only matching ones from the right? A. Inner join. B. Left join. C. Full join. Correct answer is B. Left join. Left join returns all records from the left table and only the matched rows from the right. Unmatched rows from the right are filled with null values. This one's a classic visualization question. Which visualization is most effective for showing part to whole relationships? A. Pie chart. B. Histogram. C. Scatter plot. Correct answer is A. Pie chart. Pie charts are commonly used to illustrate proportions of a whole. They are ideal when you want to compare category contributions. Here's a tricky one. What is the purpose of catch table in Databricks SQL? AD elites temp tables. B. Persists tables to disk. C. Stores tables in memory for faster access. Correct answer is C. Stores tables in memory for faster access. Catch table loads a table into memory, which significantly improves performance for repeated queries. It's useful for optimizing dashboard load times and exploratory analysis. Many people get this wrong. Which SQL statement is used to remove a table permanently? A. Drop. B. Truncate. C. Delete. Correct answer is A. Drop. Drop permanently deletes the table structure and all its data. Unlike delete, you cannot recover a drop table unless backed up. Here's one you shouldn't miss. Which command returns the average value of a numeric column? A. AVG. B. Max. C. Median. Correct answer is A. AVG. AVG calculates the mean of the specified numeric column. It is a basic aggregation function used frequently in reports and summaries. Let's test your grouping knowledge. Which clause groups rows that have the same values into summary rows? A. Group by. B. Order by. C. Distinct. Correct answer is A. Group by. Group by aggregates data across rows that share common values. It's typically used with aggregate functions like count, AVG, sum. Think you've got this one? Which clause filters records after aggregation in SQL? A. Where. B. Having. C. Order by. Correct answer is B. Having. Having filters grouped records. Unlike where, it operates on the results of aggregate functions and is used with group by. This one's important. Which SQL command is used to insert new rows into a table? Add. B. Append. C. Insert. Correct answer is C. Insert. Insert adds new records to an existing table. It must include the values for the columns defined in the schema. Here's one to finish strong. Which Databricks SQL feature allows sharing dashboards with others? A. Share URL. B. Query history. C. Cluster pools. Correct answer is A. Share URL. Databricks dashboards can be shared using a public or private share URL. This makes it easier for team collaboration and stakeholder reporting. That's it for today's session. If you found this helpful, there's a lot more waiting for you, including premium practice sets and full-length mock exams at certshero.com. Subscribe to the channel for more certification content every week and take the next step in your exam journey with confidence.